Alright folks, what we have here is a tape deck for Commodore 64. It has the Bluetooth audio in modification done to it. Only visible change is this rocker switch. When it's pushed to the right, it works as a regular tape deck. And when it's pushed to the left, it's the audio uh, Bluetooth connectivity is enabled. And when we turn on our C64, we can see the flashing blue it means it's in pairing mode and i'm going to use a android tablet go to bluetooth settings and turn it on and i'm going to connect to bt163 and it should say uh, connected for media audio the easiest way to load games to c64 is going to a web streaming game streaming web servers there is one of them is called load64.com and you'll get a list of games here you can pick or you can pick one from the uh, gameplay screens I'm going to press shift run stop and press play on the tape deck and I'll go through the games until I find something interesting. A lot of Commodore. Oh, okay, let's go for this one. I'll wait for it says load uh, font screen and then I'll hit the space bar and in the corner of the screen you can see how long it will take to load this particular game and there's the list of games in the A Here we have it. Press five to start. Is it on? No. Never mind. Let's try another game. Okay, I'll do shift run stop again and pick another game. Let's pick a game from. Uh, let's go to this menu. And let's go to B. Okay, from this list, I will choose. Well, where's the butterfly? Brain disease. Waiting for the phone screen, and I'll hit the space bar. And this game should load in 28 seconds, just about now. Right, okay, this is one way to load games from the uh, website, the streaming service. Let's take a look at another one. Okay, I have my old smartphone connected to my tape deck and it's running the app called Tap Dancer. You can download Commodore 64 games and other stuff from the website called Planet Emu. That's where I usually go. And here you can see the different formats. We have the TAP, T64, PRG, and POO. These are the tape images you can download from this website. 
and then you can uh, save it over to a SD card and after that you can use it with this app here all right let's have a look at what I have here and as you can see all my top files are listed uh, the thing with this app is there are some games it's multi-load like we have Indiana Jones it's got the side A of the tape and side B so with this app we can load one another up choose the Indiana Jones side A I'll press shift shift run stop and then I'll press play on the app Okay, it's loaded. Uh, and then when I press space, I need to press play on the app as well. And it starts loading. Okay, it's loaded. Uh, side A and telling me to put the side B on I'm going to go to the list again and choose the Indiana Jones side B okay I need to press fire first and then press play on the tap dancer and here we go loading the side B Okay, so, uh, it's finished uh, loading the first stage of the game and the game is working fine. Alright, let's try a different way of loading stuff to Commodore 64. Okay, I have my laptop connected to my data set now. And let's say I want to play something new. I go to Google search and CSDB latest. Right, and let's go to the first one, and let's have a look at the new releases. Uh, there's Bucket Wars. This is for C120 and C64. Let's yeah, let's try. It. This one came out yesterday. Okay, and this one gave us only disk image, so we have to turn it into a tape image if it's possible. And I'm going to open it with Dear Master. Open. Okay, now. Yeah, this game looks like uh, one filer, so we can we can extract a PRG file. I don't know if I can get to it. Yep, yeah. I will go to export. And export the desktop. Okay, now I will open the app called WAV PRG. Convert the PRG to a sound. And at the settings, I'm going to speed up, speed it up. Change this average bit rate to 110. No, 110. Okay, I have my settings as average bit ratio 110. Frequency 192,000 Hertz and the volume level is set to 30% Let's load the bucket wars Shift run stop That's looking good. All right, I think we have the game working.
Yeah, there are some writings. It's hard to read through camera. Yeah. So we managed to get the latest release work on our C64 through the Bluetooth tape deck.